Hi everyone, my name is Pang Piao. Currently serve as a senior lecturer at the University of Malaysia Sarawak, UNIMAS. Today, I would like to talk about a project entitled An Interactive R Signing Application for Geo Visualization of COVID 19 Exposed Location in Sarawak. The COVID 19 pandemic has affected almost everything, everyone, and every aspect of our life. All of a sudden, how and where we live, walk and interact with each other, how and where we move around and visit, become a large component of battering against disease transmissions. Various forms of contact tracing have been employed by private health authorities worldwide, which include manual approach and technology assist form to uniquely identify the possible contact for an infected individual. Another different type of contact tracing identify location that an infectious person has visited. Then, a bulletin board style approach is used to notify the public on the possible exposed location. The general public are advised to regularly check the bulletin board for location of interest to them. An individual who have been to these locations during the same time frame are encouraged to monitor their health. Bulletin board contact tracing is less resources intensive and easy to implement while offering greater privacy options. This bulletin board contact tracing was employed by the Sarawak Disaster Management Committee, SDMC, as one of the control measures in combating the disease. In the year of 2021, they continuously published a list of locations visited by infectious individuals in major districts prior to being tested positive through the daily press statements. However, the list of locations published in daily press statements are in the form of static textual information and solely in daily basis. In fact, this data should be further explored to gain better insight on the geographical and temporal distribution of COVID-19 transmission in urban and rural districts in Sarawak, as these data are rich in temporal and spacious properties. Hence, we apply both the geo visualization techniques and geospatial statistical analysis to these data. Specifically, we retrieve the textual information from daily press statements, geocode the location, and develop a web application using our signing to geo visualize the list of the exposed location. The web application consists of three main modules. The first module is an interactive map where public can visualize all the exposed locations in certain depth range with spacious resolution up to street level. The locations are further subdivided into different types such as ward place, eatery, retails, and others, which may be useful for further geostatistical analysis. The details of the location points are also provided when user hover the point. The second module gives the detail of the selected location points which are downloadable as an Excel file. The third module presented the list of exposed locations in temporal animations. Apart from our Signy web application, it is also available in mobile interface of Signy so that the user can also interact with the map effectively using mobile device. Being able to visualize the list of locations visited by the COVID-19 patient prior to being tested positive help others to be more aware how infectious the virus is from a map perspective. Also, such visualization allows the exploration of the geolocated data on exposed location to gain deeper insight into the transmission dynamics of disease within a finer spatial scale. Further geospatial statistic analysis can also be carried out to find out any relationship between such list of location visited with the intensity of daily confirmed cases within a district. Such analysis were carried out and published in our recent article entitled Job Visualization of Sarawak COVID-19 Probably Available Data Employing Open Source Geospatial Software.
being the first ever construction of map visualization for Sarawak COVID-19 exposed location, this RSHiny web and mobile application can play a significant role in assisting our public health authority in combating the infectious disease transmission in the district level in Sarawak. Thank you.